All right, everybody, welcome to today's lesson 3.1. Uh, you're gonna see my shadow, because I'm doing this on the overhead projector. It says, write the decimal shown by the shaded parts of the model. Here's our model. So we have this square. Now before we used to say this was 100 of a, of a, of a whole number, but now we're gonna say this one square is the number one. The whole thing is the number one. So we divided this into 100 squares, because you can see it's 10 by 10. There's 100 pieces right here. So we're trying to figure out what this is. So I know that I have zero holes, because it's not a complete square, and I have 10 of these 100 squares filled. Well, I know that's one tenth because there's 10 columns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One whole column is filled in, so that's a tenth. I look at the second column and I say, is it completely filled in? Nope. But I do know that there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of those little squares filled. Well, that's eight hundredths because that's eight little squares. And hey, check it out. If I were to actually count these, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 little squares, 18 hundredths. Yeah, that's perfect. Now, what about that one little kind of, we call them exploded boxes? You can see this box right here saying, hey, look at me. What if I took every one of these little teeny squares and divided them into 10? If I took 100 squares and cut each one of the squares up into 10 pieces, I would have 1,000 pieces. So it's saying, hey, this little square, if I cut that into 10 pieces and shade two of them, that's going to be two thousandths. So that shaded model right there is equal to 0 and 182 thousandths. All right, here's part two. So part two says, well, I have this number, one-tenth, number two, that is, one-tenth. And I'm looking for a number that's ten times as much as one-tenth and one-tenth of one-tenth. Well, I'm going to write my number here, zero and one-tenth. And we learned that if we are looking for a number that's ten times as much as that number, we simply need to move the decimal over one place to the right. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to move this over one place to the right. So my answer simply is one. And if you think about this in terms of money, I like to think about money. So we have one dime. Ten times one dime would give you a dollar. So this number one is ten times as much as one-tenth. Well, let's look at it the other way. What's one-tenth of, in this case, one-tenth. One-tenth of one-tenth, I'm going to move my decimal over one spot to the left. So my answer is 0 0.01. And if you think about it, what's one-tenth of a dime? Well, that's a penny. Again, going with the math analogy. So one-tenth of one-tenth is one-hundredth. Let's do another one. Let's do number six. So what is 10 times as much as 4 tenths? Well, I'm going to move this over here, one space to the right, and I got 4. Now what if I'm doing 1 tenth of that? I move my decimal place one place over to the left, and I'm going to get 4 hundredths, 0 and 4 hundredths. What about number 7? 10 times as much is 6 hundredths. Again, because I'm moving over one place value, I'm going to move that decimal over one place value. And so that looks like it's going to be 0 0.6. I don't need to add any more zeros here because these zeros actually go on forever. So I like things simple. 6 tenths. 10 times as much as 6 hundredths, 6 tenths. Think money. 10 times as much as 6 pennies, well, six times six pennies times 10 would be 60 cents, or 0 0.6. Now, what if we're going to the left? What's one-tenth? I take my decimal, move it over one spot, and I got 0 
one tenth, if we could cut a penny into 10 pieces, well, one tenth of six hundredths would give us six thousandths. I hope that helps. Have a great night. See you tomorrow.